Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So today I'm going to show you guys on how to assemble this uh, lifetime uh, 44 inch backboard and then a rim combo. I'm going to uh, remodify to fit in my uh, bracket. So let's go ahead and uh, show you guys real quick. So first of all, we have the rim right here and then uh, the backboard. Uh, netting, that one's easy. So I, you guys should know how to do that and you're going to get your wrench or I have the half uh, inch uh, socket and here are all the hardware that you need the bolts, the nuts and then uh, this is a AAJ uh, special uh, hex uh, bolt that's if you want to use a bracket so I'm not going to use a bracket, so I don't really need that. And then you got the washer. And you got this uh, U, U uh, hook. So the U bolt is for the bracket. So you got to insert it through there and then become like that and right here it shows you all the the nuts go through this hole and you need a washer and then there's a back uh, bracket the metal bracket that you need to put it in because the right here is pretty thin uh, if you don't put it it's gonna probably gonna break right away and then there you gotta insert the nuts okay here are all the hardwares uh, in this bag so you got your lifetime uh, net this is uh, made in China Here's uh, all your hardware uh, inside this bag, your screw, your nuts, your washer, and you need to put this one, this is the bracket for the back. So you should have, have two of this uh, long uh, bolt. And two of the short one. And then you should have uh, four of this uh, half uh, nut. One, two, three, four, and then uh, four uh, washers. And this two is for the bracket. Which is for the top right here, okay? You put it like this way. Make sure you put it this way. Go. The nipple has to uh, facing the front. The flat surface. Go in first.
you need a long uh, bolt, okay? The washer, and then the nuts. You need that metal bracket as well. metal bracket goes in here like this okay it's kind of protruding uh, out okay I have uh, this uh, TV mounting uh, kit, which is uh, swivel. Okay, I'm gonna take out this uh, two bolt, and hopefully I could uh, use a longer bolt to insert through here, and then uh, make a tight fit. And uh, hopefully I could just uh, make like a wooden uh, bracket on the back so I get just uh, mount this down from behind okay so uh, this is uh, what I came out with I need a longer uh, boat so I need to go to like a Lowe's or Home Depot to get the two of those uh, longer boat because uh, it won't go through the it's not long enough to go go through the the rim so I took out the two of the bolts that was down here or the nuts well nuts and bolt so uh, I'm just uh, doing like a test fit for now and I also need to put that metal bracket that's behind here because it's uh, too flimsy right now Okay. And then this is what it look like. Ugh. And I'm going to fold this cuz uh, I don't think we need to stick out that much for the rim. And it's going to sit like that on the the walkway okay so on the back I need to put like a wood to stick it down so it won't be wobbling and stuff like that all right you two just got here at the Home Depot try to pick up the screw for my uh, basketball back uh, backboard and rims since my uh, screw is too small, so we're gonna head in there and then uh, trying to find some uh, bolts and then uh, L brackets. So let's go ahead and then uh, see what we can find today. So we're gonna head to the hardware to find out. Bolts and nuts. Am I in the wrong section? What the? Wow, there's some bolt there. One bolt. Let me check, I think I'm on the wrong aisle then. Might be on the other side. Here we are, we got a whole bunch of nuts and bolts right here. I got to my 
all want to match it up. Ooh, 18 cents, 14 cents, 22 cents. Wow, there are so many. Gotta find out there's different uh, matrices and they got a matrix size or standard size. So. Alright, so I uh, just got back from the uh, Home Depot, so I'm going to show you guys uh, what I picked up. So I spent about $7.49 and then uh, $0.58 cents for the tax, so total is about $8.07. But uh, if some of the hardware I'm not going to use, I could uh, return those. So I pick up one of this uh, big threaded uh, bolt and then uh, four of this uh, long uh, bolt for the rim. And I also got uh, this uh, bolt with the nuts with this uh, L uh, bracket or they call it a corner bracket. So I was gonna use uh, two of this uh, for my uh, bracket, the TV bracket. Probably need to drill a hole with the drill mill and then uh, put this on there. If not, then I'll just uh, use one of this uh, big bolt because there's a hole in the center. I guess just uh, screw this down. Hopefully it's not gonna hold it in uh, place yeah so let's go and then uh, test it out and see how it goes all right you two so after i customize uh, everything this is what it uh, look like so instead of uh, putting like a wood on the back of this uh, tv uh, mount i put four of these uh, l brackets so far it's uh, holding uh, pretty well and uh, those are the four the nuts and bolt. One, two, three, four. So uh, I did not have to uh, drill more holes. They have uh, existing uh, holes uh, right there on the top and bottom. So I just use those holes and then uh, screw tie with it and it fits uh, pretty nicely. So the only thing that I customized it was those uh, two bolts on the metal plate. Yeah, right, right there. I had to use my uh, drill and Dremel to make it wider and bigger so the screw could go through to, to the front of the rim. So uh, that's how the screw go through from the back to the front with the nuts. So I didn't have to uh, put like a, that big fat, the threaded screw for the midsection of the, of the bracket it's because I don't think that's going to hold it uh, nicely, okay? Which is uh, similar to the hole like this on the bottom. It's exactly the same hole on the midsection. And then you have uh, two of those uh, screw right next to it so I don't think it's going to be more stabilized than these uh, four brackets okay and then I have to use like a black wiring tape to uh, hold it in place so the this uh, TV bracket will not go forward or open uh, forward by itself so one right here one strip two three and then uh, for the black wire tape. So I'm gonna show you uh, for the front. 
Let's go down there so I can show you the whole thing. This one's supposed to go over there in the main section, but uh, if you, if the kids are playing uh, basketball or we sh shooting around, we just uh, move out to the corner. And then uh, that's uh, what's it look like. It actually is uh, pretty good. Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like how I customize my uh, indoor uh, basketball hoop and backboard and uh, with the rims. Hopefully you, uh, you guys enjoy it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Like always, peace. <laughs>